You know what's a lofty word? Up. It always has us heading toward the sky and onto better things. Heads up, saddle up, move up. Well, the future of farming is about to have a new up in its vocabulary. And it's a term we've all heard throughout our lives. But this time, grow up has a whole new meaning. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. When you think of a farm, you probably imagine vast fields spreading across thousands of acres of land. Well now, think about this, an urban farm, where five acres of tomatoes and greens grow in a three-story building next to a parking garage on a tiny tenth of an acre of land. Not only that, it produces crops year-round, so there's no fallow period. I made the trek to Jackson, Wyoming to meet Penny McBride and Nona Yaya, the innovators behind Vertical Harvest, a hydroponic farm that will supply 100,000 pounds of fresh produce annually for food establishments in this busy tourist town. Hydroponic farming is a method of farming where you use water to deliver the nutrients to the plants. And the plant becomes a really spoiled plant. It took Penny and Nona seven years to plant their first crop because they first had to design and build the vertical greenhouse. Vertical harvest is essentially three greenhouses stacked on top of each other. We have a carousel system that rotates and moves between the first floor and second floor. And by stacking the greenhouse and adding this carousel system, we're really taking advantage of every square inch in the greenhouse. We knew the carousels could rotate and take advantage of the southern light that comes in, but then what to do with the rest of the 30 feet? So our team innovated a carousel that goes all the way back the depth of the 30 feet. So we press these two buttons together, and you can see it rotating. It moves slowly throughout the day, and so the movement does a couple of things. It allows the watering system to come on so the plants can get their nutrients. And then in addition, it brings the plants to whoever's working on the system. Each floor in the building represents a specific microclimate for growing. We hit the stairs to go up to the third floor. Talk a little bit about the microclimates here. It's a lot hotter here than it was in the other room. Well, tomatoes like it hot. <laughs> so we knew that the tomatoes could exist on the third floor where we get the sunlight from above and the southern facade. And you really feel how that just works in a greenhouse atmosphere. One of the really unique properties of this vertical greenhouse, essentially, is that it's a bit of a hybrid. You're employing natural sunlight as well as the artificial. Yeah, so a lot of vertical farms right now are either or, right? There are just carousels in a greenhouse or carousels in a box without using any artificial light. We're obviously using the carousels to a great extent, but we're also using traditional hydroponic growing methods for vining crops like tomatoes. So it's about 85, <laughs> maybe 90 maybe at degrees. Least, uh, <laughs> at least. It's definitely up there. And it's probably about 30 degrees outside. Yeah. How are you going to convince people that you were actually growing tomatoes in the dead of winter <laughs> in Jackson, Wyoming? Well, I guess right. we're the proof. Our, our perspiration is the proof. And I think, you know, when they taste our tomatoes in the couple of months and year round, it will be the instant gratification for them to understand what we're doing. The plan is to deliver fresh produce to restaurants and stores within a day of harvest year-round. So I guess you could say things are looking up for vertical harvest.